Long time listener, first time caller. It's Trisha on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. So good to talk to you. I'm sure. What you're saying is a great service to the people, and the people should understand that. Dude, dude, two Big Macs for three bucks? Are you kidding me? It's fantastic. You answer to me, and I will interrupt you anytime I please, up to and including hanging up the phone. Hang up the phone, then. Come All get- right, I will. I'm preparing the men for the reality of the future, that, that women today are scandalous, and they will lie and do whatever they have to do to get what they want, up to and including they see a guy who looks the part, and they want to have a baby with him because he has the right eye color, or because he's built right, or because uh, the family has money, or whatever. And men must, men must fight this resolutely. They must fight against being dragged into responsibilities they don't want. And I'm telling them how to do it. They're just talking smack because Margarito is a great fighter. I think this fight was too close to Christmas. He had all the tamales and the tequila Oh, still. stop. He didn't have time to work it out. Come on. Come on, Irwin. Please. It's true. Come on. They should have waited a little longer after Christmas because, stop I mean. It. And then the You're, you're kidding, says, right? Too close to Christmas. Too many tamales. That's why he lost. Now we have uh, the children of the children. I know. Yeah, we've got the uh, mother who at 16 had a baby, and now her 14-year-old little slutty slut slut is now now she's pregnant. 30-year-old mom and 46-year-old grandma and 15-year-old little slut, uh, they they go down to Planned Parenthood, or they they, what? They go and apply for welfare? Well, what the hell? Well, I don't understand why people get upset at me when I bring this up, and I know the reason. They think if I go on the air and say, oh, 85,000 layoffs today, that's it's going to hurt their business. So I should be Pollyanna, and I should be on the radio pretending that everything is just great, that I should do what George W. Bush used to do, say we're not in a recession, say things aren't as bad as they seem, say we're just seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, say uh, things are going to get better in the next quarter, the next half, the next year. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. I refuse. From Hollywood. That's the spirit. It's the Tom Likas Show. So join us, won't you? And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Wide open telephones on this Friday. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. And if you're not our bouncer, Dean J. D'Amelio, man with a criminal record, he will make certain that you uh, get your ass kicked right off the telephone. It's that simple. All you have to do to participate here is to call this telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. And as we have pointed out to you incessantly, you may know that uh, uh, what we do now is we take more calls. We take them faster. We rip through them. And that means there's more opportunities for you to get on the air and talk about on Friday absolutely anything. So if you call me here at 1-800-5800-TOM, I will bang through calls. And I mean bang in every sense of the word. Here we are on the cusp of Super Bowl weekend. And uh, I uh, got my kegerator loaded. What what are we drinking? What are we drinking at the Tom Likas Super Bowl event? Union Jack. Jack, That's right. Firestone Union Jack IPA. This went through a lot of debate. At the Tom Likas World Headquarters, and uh, we decided to uh, give this a shot. And I'm going to tell you, I'm sampling it right now. And as you may know, although Firestone's been an advertiser on our uh, main ass radio station here, 97.1 FM, talk from time to time, they're not currently an advertiser. I, I don't benefit from this in any way. Just let me tell you that this this glass of beer I'm trying out right now is kick ass. It's fantastic. People are going to be very pleased. And uh, what's on the menu? Oh, nothing. Some uh, Chicago Red Hot hot dogs, which are among the best of their breed. 
Uh, we've got some uh, handmade bratwurst, handmade uh, from my friends over at Huntington Meats here at the uh, farmer's market in L.A. Uh, we've got some uh, chorizo. We've got um, these Nancy Silverton hamburgers. Nancy Silverton, uh, of course, you may know her as the one who just lost her entire fortune to uh, Bernard Madoff. But uh, uh, before he made off with her money, uh, she uh, came up with this blend of uh, hamburger meat, these half-pound hamburgers, out of control. And uh, a good sprinkling of uh, Pittsburgh Steeler fans and Arizona Cardinal fans. So it should be quite the blast. Anyway, to your phones here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. This is Christina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. <laughs> this is so awesome. I can't believe I'm on your show. I agree. Um, look at I'm... Basically, here's what I want to know. I've been going out on dates with different girls this past year and not had the best luck. And I went out on a date with this one girl twice and nothing has happened. And I want to know how to make it happen, Tom. Well, you know what I always say about women? Uh, pretty much the way to make it happen is to put your left leg at the 10 and your right leg at the 2. <laughs> I mean, look, like I took your advice. You know, I've been listening to you for a long time, and I stopped for a while, but I recently started listening to you this year. And, you know, I haven't done anything stupid. Like, I haven't spent all this money on her or done anything like that. You know what I mean? And I don't know if she's, like, just playing hard to get or, like, what? You know what I mean? Like, we went out, and she was the one that asked me out on a second date. Like, right. I didn't even ask her. Well, here's the thing. Uh, why don't you just ask her point blank or... Make a move. What are you waiting for? I don't for? want to. I just want to ask her. I just want to get to the point. Like, I don't even see myself, like, in a relationship with this girl. I just kind of, I just want to sleep with her. Now, is she, looking, is she looking for a relationship? As, um, I don't think she's too serious about anything. I just think she's just looking to date. You know, like, oh, we I... haven't really talked about it. I mean, it's been two dates. Like, it hasn't gotten, in, like, our conversations aren't intense. You know what I mean? We're just kind of hanging out, I guess. Well, then you need to lunge for her. That's what you need to do. You need to uh, <laughs> just jump right in. And uh, if she says no, you'll have your answer. Mm-hmm. I, guess I mean, that, that's that's how I look at it as a guy uh, with chicks. You, you have to, at some point, fish or cut bait. You have to just go for the gold. Mm -hmm. And then if she goes, hey, 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 who do you think I am? What do you think you are? Hey, Fine. Mm -hmm. Now I know I would have been wasting my time if I'd gone any further. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to keep I mean, going on dates, I understand your frustration. To keep going on dates after date after date and for nothing to happen. Ouch. Yeah, it's just, it's lame. It's just, yeah, I feel like it's a waste of time. And I mean, part of me just wants to ask her, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know if that's like a I mean, not appropriate, but I don't no, know if it just... don't ask like her. Hey, yeah. By the way, anytime you ask someone, Man, can I kiss you? The results are never good. Yeah. You right. know, people want to be, especially women, want to be taken. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Thank so you, so you much, have to do huh? that. Well, I, I, I've, I've known a few women in my time, as you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I haven't, I mean, I haven't dated in years. I had a girlfriend for a long time, and then I just kind of... I got out of it for a while, and I just, I had to work on myself and take care of all these things, and now, you know, everything is good, and I was like, I need to start dating again. I just want to have fun, you know? You need, you need a bullpen, darling. <laughs> um, but these girls, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, whoa, 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 zero tolerance policy. You're out! Can't say the F word on the air. Go to our website, or actually our MySpace, myspace.com. Slash Tom Likas. That's myspace.com slash T O M L E Y K I S. And get a look at the list of words you can never, ever say on the radio. But that's my recommendation to you. 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Norma on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Oh, Hi, I Norma. love you. Ooh. I really do. No, I just wanted to ask you about what do you think about that woman 
that had those octuplets, and she's got six other kids at home with no father. Well, uh, I certainly would like to know the name of the doctor, and I would hope that uh, the American oh, Medical the Association... Because I've seen that doctor. So you know who he is? She is, that oh, uh, delivered really? the babies. Not the one who delivered the babies, the one who implanted eight embryos. Oh, no, she went to Mexico to do this. Ah. I mean, we've got to start having some rules for this stuff. Exactly. Got Why to. do I have to pay, me and my husband have to pay for children who who are just going to be more draining on society? This well, is this especially annoys me because there's such a line of people who want to adopt children. That uh, I I think, frankly, if uh, you can't afford to support your kids and you start coming in for the food stamps and the welfare, I think we should just start plucking kids out of your home until it gets down to a level you can manage. Exactly. Um, what do they say about hoarding? Remember they take cats or dogs out of your home? Isn't she hoarding children? Well, they are, of course, uh, in a sense, her children because she, she boifed them. Well, but uh, what the hell is going on here? I mean, I, the, the, this is an example of why we need to make rules for this kind of thing. And God damn it, I hope we do. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-862. The Tom Likas Show. Friday, the Tom Likas Show, a shorter commercial breaks, fewer commercials, and more telephone calls than we've ever taken before. That means even you can get on the air. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. All right. Hey, I've got a, I got an issue here. Last night I went on, took uh, a girl out to a, on a date, this girl I've been kind of like hanging out with for the past couple weeks, and she's a great chick, you know, young, she's 18, and uh, really fun to hang out with, and she kind of threw a curveball at me last night, Tom. What was it? Well, okay, so she's like, oh, well, we always use condoms, blah, 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 we're safe and smart, and she goes on to say that if she was to get pregnant, that she would, she's like, I'm not into the abortion thing. She's like, I would keep the baby. Now, John, let me ask you this: what What kind of birth control does she use? Uh, she does She's not on anything. Now, John, are you a new listener? N you know, uh, unfortunately, Tom, <clears throat> I've been listening to your show for about two years now. What do we tell you about women who are not on birth control? A lot of things. They, they want to no, get pregnant. They want your baby. Yeah. So isn't that all you needed to know? I I, I guess. I mean, but gosh, she's hot, Tom, and I, I use Doesn't a condom. Matter. Hey, but, but condoms fail. This is true. This is true, my friend. I mean, if she's not using birth control, that means one accident and you're done. She's trying to get in on this on this fortune here. She's trying to become an heir to this this. The, the, the throne here. Well, you may be joking about that, but do you assume that you'll never accomplish anything in your life? Uh, you know, as my dad put it, he's like, I hope she's smart enough to be using birth control, or not to get pregnant, because we don't need anyone else tapping in on the family fortune. You have a family fortune? Eh, my dad likes to think so, Tom, but uh, it's just well, real estate, you know. Just yeah. real estate? <laughs> I guess, um... Yeah, it's not. It's actually not a bad situation, you know. But anyhow, I uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time, Tom. I appreciate. Well, wait a minute. So call. so wait 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 before you go. So what are you going to do? Well, I mean, I guess I already got your answer. I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I I think I'm never. It's either one of two things here, Tom. Never talk to her again and just completely just ice it, you know. Or. I, yeah. Just uh. I don't know, try to keep, keep, uh, you know, maybe do two things, try to pull out and just keep strapping on, I guess. Pal, the pull out method is a myth. Yeah, it's a big myth, huh? I know, no. I've heard you say that numerous times, Tom. It's like, a myth. I don't want you to think that I'm not a good listener because I am, but good grief, sometimes my male instincts get a little 
Kate yeah, away. but yeah, but by, what about your instinct of preservation, preserving your wealth, preserving your yeah. freedom? Do you mm -hmm. have an instinct for that? I do. Well, then uh, it has to overcome your instinct to want to get laid. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Here, Tom, I appreciate I have that. gotten, I, by the way, John, and I've said this on the air before, maybe you heard it, maybe you didn't. I have gotten out of bed. I was in bed, right. hot chick, got out of bed in mid-sex. Like, about to do it, got out. Just out. Yeah, I admire you. Yeah, you probably pulled some of the hottest chicks, Tom. I can't, I mean, I bet you the chick you crawled out of bed was a, a, a 20 compared to this chick, you know? Yeah, well, I was in her bed, and we, we, everything was going great until I could hear crying. Oh, my God. And I said, what is that, a neighbor? She said, oh, no, that's my son. No way. Yeah, in the other room. Kidding me? Then she said to me, and his father won't live up to his responsibilities. Oh, my God. This lady is trying to, she's trying to come up. She, yeah, yeah. Good that's thing where you this got is, out of John, it. that's where this is going. So, in other words, I need to just, should I tell her? I should probably tell her, huh? Yeah, tell her. Uh, clearly, she wants to have a baby. You don't. Yeah. End of story. End of story. And I, I'm 23 years old. I'm in my prime. This right. girl's a little, she's living in a little dollhouse. I want to be a mommy, you know, like it's like a big game to her. She's like, I would be a hot mom. I was like, you know what? You would lose it if you had a kid. Fools would look at you, push that stroller and be like, oh, that girl used to be hot. You know what I mean? This yeah, but guess what? If she has your baby, you're going to be the one looking at her saying she used to be hot. Oh, you're right, father. Hey, well, you know, I appreciate you taking my call. Could you take me out of uh, Kobe style, please? Yes, of course I can. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1-800-529-5555. Oh. 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 Tom, that's our telephone number. JC on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, JC. Thank you. How are you doing, Tom? Doing great. Hey, Tom, I just want to know if they're sure about the Chargers coming to Los Angeles. Uh, there are several teams rumored to be coming to Los Angeles. If Ed Roski builds his stadium in the city of industry, uh, the Chargers are only one of several. Uh, other teams that are rumored include the San Francisco 49ers, the Minnesota Vikings, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Also, oh, it's not official then? No. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, but I heard someone telling me that the Chargers were coming down to, um, to L.A. And they well, unless that person was the owner of the Chargers, they probably are just repeating a rumor they heard. Oh. Okay. Hey, what do you think about Obama, about the Wall Street? The people on Wall Street trying to get bailed out. The what? The people on Wall Street. Well, it's Obama's not bailing out Wall Street, is he? Oh, no. No, no, no. But isn't that kind of like uh, childish to them talking about that to get bailed out? I think that anybody who wants to get bailed out here, I think we've uh, already given them their uh, money. I think we're done bailing people out. At least I hope so. Edgar of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I uh, just wanted to uh, say hello and ask you a question, wondering if you have read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad and your thoughts uh, on I have read it indeed. And uh, I happen to believe, just my opinion, I happen to believe that book is largely responsible for a lot of the problems we have now. Well, wait, do you think that, Tom? By encouraging complete morons like yourself with no uh, experience or knowledge about the real estate business uh, to buy houses, uh, to, to make money off them. And uh, so what is your, uh, other than investing, do you, do you suggest just get a job or... Getting a job, saving money, investing. Yes. Now, if you want to take courses and become a real estate expert, we could have a conversation. But I, my guess is that 90% of the people who read that book have never stepped inside a classroom, including you. Hey, I'm, I'm graduated. I'm just, you know, I've... Have you, yeah, but have you ever studied real estate? I haven't. That's why I'm, I'm interested in just... That's my point. You know nothing about it. I just want to increase my financial IQ, that's all. Okay, well, that's great, but uh, again, that book encouraged completely inexperienced morons uh, to go out and start bidding up the price of houses, and that's how we got to where we are. 
That's right. That's well, there's a, good... a lot of other cooperation. There was the Federal Reserve. There was the predatory lenders. There was uh, the realtors. I mean, there are a lot of people involved. And, of course, all the greedy flippers. But uh, that book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, in my opinion, uh, was one of the inspirations for illiterate, uh, ignorant morons to get into the real estate business and ruin our economy. And um, Obama, you know, in the package, but he just passed. That's worth more than they just passed to, to bail out the Wall Street. What are your thoughts exactly on, on how he's trying to, you know, push even more money through this and give more money to the fat cats? Because, I mean, I understand that a percentage of it goes to up employment, but a lot of it goes back to, to where it used to go back with the Bush administration and, and prior to that. Well, to that's, not what I, that's not what I've heard. Uh, uh, the money is going to be going uh, to, to a large extent to... Uh, uh, infrastructure, uh, repairs, uh, construction projects, and what have you. Now, granted, there will be special interests who will try to scoop up as much of that money as they can. Already, it's been proven that they already have. But do you think? Well, we really tried. Important? We tried the Republican way of just getting out of the way and letting everybody do what they want, and look where it brought us. Either way, either way is 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 not is not going to work. We need, you know, as far as Obama, I think we need a, a new. You know, viewpoint of it, because he's coming just strictly from the Democratic point of view, and we had his last administration coming straight from the Republican point of view. I'm looking to find somebody who can sort of come with a fresh tone and understand and look at it with a different concept. Rather well, than I, I happen to think that Obama does have a fresh concept. Uh, first of all, he attempted to meet with Republican leaders. He uh, agreed to compromise on certain issues. And 100% uh, uh, of the Republicans in the House voted against the stimulus pack. Exactly. Exactly, and it's like so. It I, I mean, if they do not want to cooperate and they do not want to participate, uh, well, then Obama will uh, sink or swim by the results of this stimulus package. But I'll tell you what: if it succeeds, the Republicans are screwed. They have placed an all-or-nothing bet here. You're right. You're right. No doubt. So we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot for the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Remember, we're here six days a week now. Tomorrow, you'll hear us from 2 until 6 p.m. Pacific Time on 97.1 FM Talk. That's tomorrow, 2 to 6 p.m. Will you remember? Will you remember? I'm asking you a question. Tomorrow, 2 to 6 p.m., six uh, days a week now. Uh, I said tomorrow, uh, 2 to 6, tomorrow, 2 to 6 p.m., every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. On 97.1 FM Talk, and if you are not fortunate enough to live in our single area, just go to blowmeuptom.com and uh, press on the Listen Live button there, and uh, you'll be listening live, that's right, 2 to 6 p.m., Tomorrow, the Tom Likas Show. Be there, be square. All right, here we are at 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephones. It's John in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hey, I've been listening to you for a couple of years. I've always heard you say that, and I just was wondering where that came from because it, it doesn't make sense to me. I just wondering where, what that's from. Well, uh, as you may know, pork is known as the other white meat. And uh, in Portland, where you live, if you look at the female population, there's an awful lot of pork. A lot of pork? Yeah, fat chicks. Yeah, a lot of fat. See, a lot of fat people in Oregon all together. Right, so we call it Porkland, with a K. Porkland, Oregon, home of the other white meat, which is pork. Ah, uh, that does make sense to me now. Oh, good. Yeah, you're right. That's all I got for you, Tom. Thank you for that. Pamela on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Hi, uh, Tom. Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes, I do. All right, hold on, please. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Pamela, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. Uh, I have a. I need some advice. Um, 
It's it's kind of a you know I've listened to your show. I really think you're a very intelligent person, and the advice that you usually shared has to do with um, you know the dating aspects or the dating morals. Uh, procedures when it comes to men dating women. So what I'm trying to seek your help on is the other way around. Um, for a woman, uh, I'm 40 years old and I don't look 40. I take very good care of myself and I'm kind of a tomboy. And there's this guy that um, has a, like an immense interest in me, um, but he does not call me. The only way we communicate is through Messenger on Yahoo, or he text messages me. And I brought this up to him. I said, uh, you know, why, you know, it's kind of like, let's, you know, go up a notch. Let's talk on the phone. And he says, oh, that's something my sister complains about, blah, blah, blah. It it just basically... It, I, I don't understand. I like him. He's a personal trainer. He's very good looking. Uh, he's quite a bit younger than me. Um, I would like to hang out with him, but... It, you want to hang out with him or have sex with him? Well, I want both, actually. I would like both, Tom. Well, you understand a personal trainer who's much younger than you may only have one interest in you. True. True. Be but realistic. He, you're right. You're right. I mean, I don't expect him to wine and dine me or... Uh, he doesn't want to talk know. to you. You don't understand. That's why he doesn't call you. Well, he talks to me on the messenger, though. Come I, on. That's not talking. He's probably cutting and pasting the same message to 12 different people at the same time. He puts on his webcam, Tom, you know. Really? And, and he let it all hang out? Yes! <laughs> so you've had, like, uh, cyber sex with him and stuff? No, no, I've never had, he just, he just says, wouldn't you want to, um, you know, and, and, you know, forgive me, I, I did not go over the rules of what I should say or not, right, Tom. Let me save you the time. He asked you if you want to, uh, if you want him to bang you, is that uh, what yeah, we're talking he, about? you know, by a hot looking guy. All right, you know? so, so what I just told you, now you see that it's true. Right. Before you ever told me that, didn't I tell it to you? Right. His only interest in you is that. Right. So you have to decide if yeah. you want to give him that and give yourself that. Okay, how, how do I, could you somewhat, if I go on Yahoo tonight, most likely he'll be on there, you know? Right. And what, without being harsh, you know, you know, hitting below the belt, so to speak, um, I mean, I, I, what's your question? I want to know what I should tell him. I'll just tell him what. What I, do I, you I, want? You have to tell me. What do you want to happen? You want him, you want to have, you want to, you want him to talk to you and hang out with you. He has no, no interest in that. No, I don't, I don't, at least so, a phone call, Tom. He doesn't want to talk. Okay. All right. Well, in that situation, I guess I'll just tell him that. Um, I'm not comfortable with that, so I, um, you know, I just don't want to be treated like a booty call, you well, know? You, that's what you are. Remember, a personal trainer. You're I see, you're 40 years old, that's what it says here? Are you 40? Yes. And he's how old? What, 24, you said, or something like that? He is, he just turned for, uh, 24. 24. Uh, what possible other interest can a 24-year-old have in you except easy access? Yeah, but, yeah, it's true, but, uh, you know, the thing is, is just, I think what I'm really annoyed about, Tom, is regardless of this situation, is that, you know, at this point in my life, I would like to somewhat meet uh, a more of a tangible person. Then why do you spend time on a guy who only wants to bang you? Okay, and by so the I'm way, can I add something speaking from a male point of view? There's nothing wrong with doing that. You know, I've done it many times. It, 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 are you kidding? When I'm with someone who's 24 or 22 or 18? Right. I mean, let's say, are we having conversation or are we banging? 
Right. No, I agree with you. I see. Well, you point. want something that doesn't exist. You want uh, uh, your little Ken doll there to actually have conversations with you and spend time with you. He doesn't want that. Okay, I understand. You know, and he I, let you, you know, know that. He, by the way, he let you know that by never calling you. So right. you had all the information you needed. Doesn't want to talk to you. Right. Tells you he wants to have sex with you. It's all right there in front of you. Yeah, and you he, still he was, you like still him. harbor this fantasy that somehow he's going to be interested in more than just easy sex. Well, uh, honestly, there's a huge age difference. Okay, I, I'm there. I mean, I, I I'm not like a hopeless romantic person, Tom. You know, hey, I let realize. Let me tell you something. You, you you are unmarried, and let me tell you something. And I'm telling you from the male point of view. Okay. Just because he is not marriage material or relationship material or hanging out material or going to the movies material or whatever you're looking for here, doesn't mean there's something wrong with having sex with a young guy who can go five times a night. Right. Right. It's just that I don't want the same thing, too. I don't, I don't want... But, but the point just... is, why put all your eggs in one basket? Why couldn't you just do that for now until you meet the right guy? Because, Tom, you know... You'd rather sit home and feel sorry for yourself? No, it's just... it's You know, I have a lot of integrity within myself, and I know you're going to Why would that be this. a lack of integrity? I don't consider it a lack of integrity when I have sex with a girl. I just, um... You know, I guess it's just I've been there, I've done that, you know? And, uh... Oh, wait, I, well, I, you know what? Let's take breakfast. Been there, done that, right? Every right. day. Do you ever stop? No. Because you need breakfast, don't you? Yes, I'm very... You never I say help. it's the same old thing. Wake up, put the coffee on, <laughs> mix my oatmeal every day. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. I'm tired of it. No, you don't. You keep doing it because you need it. Why can't you see sex with a young, strapping guy like that? I don't know. It bothers me. I don't know why. It's just a bodily function. Get over it. I, I guess I don't know if I can, but you know, I, I, uh, I mean, the guy is so hot. You know. Then, then, it's, then, rape him for God's sake. Go for it. It's easier said than done. You're killing me, Larry. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom like it Show. It's the Tom Like His Show, coming to you from hell at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Wide open telephones on this Friday, and if it goes here, anything at all. So, step right in. Kevin, on the Tom Like His Show, hello. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Doing okay. Well, I'm in a little bit of a predicament. Um, I'm on my way to Vegas. And uh, I met this girl on MySpace, and she convinced me after a month of, you know, chatting it up online to uh, go out and see her. And why are you the one doing the driving? Um, I don't know. I just felt like it was a good opportunity. I'd be able to meet a girl. Maybe she's cool, you know? Why do you have to go all the way to Las Vegas to do that? Well, what else am I going to... I mean, she's pretty hot, Tom. Well, why didn't she come here to see you? I don't know. She said she works a lot. She does something. She said, like, entertainment industry. Stripper. No. What does she do in the entertainment industry? She, she I don't know. She didn't really uh, elaborate on that. Yeah, I'll bet she didn't. When they say I'm in the entertainment industry, they are a stripper. So does that mean I'm going to have good luck or what? It probably means she's advertising online for customers and you're the next sucker. No. Yeah. Well, but she she didn't say, like, you know, she was a hooker or anything like that. Really? Is it Celine Dion? No. Is it wasn't it? a personal ad. It was... Uh, Bette Midler? 
It was pretty good talk for this last month, you know? She's in the entertainment industry in Las Vegas. What, what do you think that means? Maybe, like, she's in one of the shows, uh, you know? Doubt it. When people are in shows, they tell you. Yeah, she, well, well, even if she's a stripper, is this a bad idea? Yes. I mean, aren't strippers, like, am I going to get some action, you know? Strippers, well, yeah, if you pay for it. Strippers are uh, uh, human ATM machines. They're they're hookers you don't put out. So I'm not going to get laid? Well, you might get laid, but it's going to cost you. What, like under 40? How much do you, you want to pay to get laid? Well, well, you pay, you say under $40, not to date. So, and you say under three days, so three times four, that's 120 to get laid. Yeah, but you're not paying it in cash to somebody to give you a lap dance. Well, is there a difference? I think there is a difference. Because, frankly, that's the maximum. You should be spending even less than that if you can. All right. Well, it's okay, $100. And by the way, how lame is it that you can't get a date within 250 miles of Los Angeles? Yeah, this part sucks. I'm in traffic, and uh, this part's not good. Right. It's not going to get much better, either. I know. Well, I'm not turning around, you know. What else am right. I going to do? Well, go ahead. You're going to have the cost of the hotel room, the cost of gasoline. Uh, she'll is- expect to be uh, uh, wine to dine. No, nah, I'm going to skip that part. Really? So where are you meeting her? At her, uh, at her place. Her place? Well, I don't, not necessarily her place. She said on the strip in front of the Venetian. And, like, we'll just go out from there. Right. But, you know, I don't really know exactly where she lives or what her plan is. Because I told yeah. her I didn't get a hotel room. So I think I'm going to stay at hers. How do you know she's, uh, for example, not when she's not married or has a boyfriend or a pimp? I mean, she's willing to have me at her place. I'll go under the bed. So you're go- let me understand. You're going to Las Vegas on Super Bowl weekend without a reservation. No, oh, I'm staying at hers, Tom. You don't know that. Well, she she gave me the good idea. I said I'm not getting a hotel room. She goes, okay, that's fine. Like we'll figure it out, you know. So, I mean, but she never told you to stay at her uh, place, did she? Huh? She never told you to stay at her place, did she? Not not directly. Right. The- not at all. No, no, not exactly. Not at all. Uh, not at all. Well, I'm not going there and then driving home tonight. Well, then you might be sleeping in your car. Oh. No. Who do you think does that? Think about women you've known. Who has a complete stranger drive drive 350 miles uh, to come stay at her place? What woman does that except a professional or somebody who's looking to rob you? Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, you're so, gonna find out. I have, I have good pictures on MySpace. You know, like I, I, I did this whole live thing. I said I'm a doctor, and you know, I, she doesn't really know I'm driving all the way there. I told her I'm going to some meetings and stuff in the area, so I kind of played it cool, you know. Uh, now, how many, uh, how many women just uh, hook up with you just like that? No, not yet. I'm, I'm hoping this is my first. Yeah, but 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 let me ask you a question. If that happens so often, why haven't you done it in the greater metropolitan area of Los Angeles and Orange County? Because like I don't want to hit on girls in clubs, and then if it doesn't go well, I'll be nervous. Why like, can't you meet them on MySpace or Craigslist in the area? That's a good point. Yeah. But I feel like I'm, they might know me in some other way. Oh, stop it. There's 11 million people in SoCal. Stop it. I, don't know. I mean, I never even know what to do when I go to a bar. Like, what do so I you talk? got no game. That's what this is all about. You're a little boy with no game, and this is the only way you've figured out to meet a girl. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, get my fix. All well, right. Good. Good luck to you, son. Jesus. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Donovan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Donovan. What's going on, man? Not much. All right, so 
check it out. I've got a, I'm in a relationship, um, which I know is against your rules. I've only been listening for a couple months. Um, and uh, this girl, she's super hot, smoking hot. Um, I uh, I came across the, accidentally. I wasn't even looking through her phone, but I came across a text message uh, that she sent someone saying, uh, "He's right next to me, sleeping. I can't talk right now." There you go. And so uh, you know, I, I I and you need to call a radio program to ask what that means. Well, no, because she says she says you know, oh, it's because you were sleeping. I didn't want to wake you up. But I'm like, okay, so I give her the benefit of the doubt. But then you know, I. I it, sparks my curiosity i look through her phone one more time and you know she's talking to these guys and she deletes all of her her responses so it's only you can only see what the guy's saying and he's like hitting on her and stuff and uh you know i don't know she tells me that they're just friends you know she's got a lot of guy friends right. and she tells me sure she, she loves does. me right she tells me she loves me right that's why she needs so many guy friends I don't know. I mean, am I supposed to think for sure she's cheating and break up with her? Yes, and stop having girlfriends. She's she's smoking hot though, Tom. I mean, I, then, I then then fine. Why girls. can't why can't you just have girls. a goddamn booty call? Why do you have to fall in love with every slut? Well, I didn't think she was a slut. Obviously, but the point is, you could have just had sex with her. That's true. And if you just had sex with her, who cares if other guys are sending her text messages? Because other chicks would be sending you text messages. Yeah. Then you wouldn't care. That's true. That's true. All right, man. Well, what? I don't know. I don't you know, know how to what? know for sure. You know for sure. All you right. Why would you need to delete your responses from your phone? That's a good question. Answer it. Yeah. All right, Tom. Thank you. Can you take me out with a bong rip? Here you go. <coughs> the Tom Likas Show.